what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more stranger things this is season one episode six and it's titled the monster uh appropriate title i think because of the way that the last episode ended uh so this was selected by l so thank you so much for your support l uh yeah so we get two stranger things this this month that's cool cool anyways let's get into it Nancy! Actually, hold on one second. I need to organize my hair a little bit. So I can hear things properly. And so it doesn't look terrible. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Nancy! Where are you? Nancy! This is why you leave breadcrumbs to where you were. Guys, this is... When you investigate things, you always think about these things. I'm right here! I'm right here! Nancy! Just fall! Nancy! Why would you leave your weapon behind too? You brought it for a reason. Be a man, go in there. Save her. Closed up. Well, now no one's ever gonna believe him. She obviously doesn't want to talk that's, to you. That's not it. I mean, something's wrong. So what? Are you worried about her? Yeah. Oh, you are. Oh, Steve has a Shut up! Jesus. I just feel it. Wonder would she be home by now? And if he is there. Yeah. I figured something like that would happen. And he's gonna do something bad now. It was a laboratory. It was they must do experiments or something and then there was this kid's room why would you think it was a kid's room the size of the bed there was a drawing of a, an adult and a child it said 11 on it was it good oh uh, yeah it well no the night that benny died earl said he saw some kid with a shaved head with benny this woman, Terry Ives, she claims to have lost her daughter, Jane. She sued the government, and now the claims came to nothing, but what if... Well, maybe this is answering my question from last episode. I mean, what if this whole time I've been... I've been looking for Will. I've been chasing after some other kid. God, imagine how horrified you'd be. Can you just come up here? Yeah. You know, it, it can't get us in here. We don't know that.
That's right, you feel bad for yelling at her. Uh, yeah, it's Ives. Terry Ives. Great, thanks. Really appreciate this, Frank. Say hi to the boys when I do. Did you get her? Got it. Sleep. Every time I close my eyes, I just keep seeing that thing. Wherever I was, that place, I think that it lives there. It was feeding there, feeding on that deer. Oh, uh, right. If Will and Barbara. My mom said she talked to Will. If he's alive, there's a chance Barbara is too. That means that she's trapped. No, please. We have to find it again. You want to go back out there? Maybe we don't have to. When I saw it, it was feeding on that deer. Meaning it's it's a predator, right? And it seems to hunt at night like a, like a lion or a coyote. But it doesn't hunt in packs like that. It's always alone, like a bear. And. Remember at Steve's when Barb cut herself? Mm. And then last night, the deer? It was bleeding too. Sharks can detect blood in one part per million. That's one drop of blood in a million. And they can smell it from a quarter mile away. So you're saying it can detect blood? It's just a theory. We could test it. But if it works... At least we'll know it's coming. I'll be down in a second. I was never allowed to have a lock on my door. Your mom doesn't knock. Hi, Scott Clark? Uh, yes. The same Scott Clark who teaches science and AV at Hawkins Middle? The very same. And we're making a newsletter, which we'll send out monthly. It'll showcase all the latest equipment, as well as how-to articles, which the kids write themselves. That's neat. What we're really trying to do here, Mr. Clark, uh, Please, is to... call me Scott. Scott. What we're trying to do here, Scott, is to connect kids from all over the state and give them the support and encouragement to pursue careers in technology. So, you know any kids you think might want to participate? Oh, I have a few in mind. I can't believe she didn't come back. She's gotta be close. She just messed up the compasses because she wanted to protect us. She didn't betray us. And she was scared. Down. I shouldn't have yelled at her. I never should have done that. Mike, this isn't your fault. It's true. Yeah, it's Lucas's. Wasn't his fault either. Yeah, it kind of was. So you're saying he wasn't way out of line? Totally, but so were you. What? And so was Eleven. All three of you were being a bunch of little assholes. I was the only reasonable one. But the bottom line is. Yeah. Actually. First. And you know the rule, draw first blood. No way, I'm not shaking his hand. You're shaking his hand. No, I'm not. This isn't a discussion. This is the rule of law. Obey or be banished from the party. Do you want to be banished? No. Good. Where are we going? We're going to get Lucas. And then we're going to find Eleven. Is this a flash? I think this is a flashback still. Because otherwise we would have seen her go back, I guess. Today, we make history. Today, we make contact. Nancy, I thought she was coming down. Nancy, what's taking so long? Nancy? Nancy, come on. You're gonna pick her up. All right. Nancy.
I drew first blood, so. <laughs> okay. I'll shake. On one condition. We forget the weirdo and go straight to the gate. Then the deal's off. Fine! Fine! No, no, not fine. Guys, seriously? Do you even remember what happened on the Bloodstone Path? We couldn't agree on what path to take, so we split up the party, and it all went to shit, and we were all disabled! So we stick together, no matter what. I agree. But this is the party right here in this room. Ella's one of us now. Um, no, she's not. not Why are you so against her? her? Screw you. A liar, a traitor. She was just trying to keep us safe. She didn't mean to hurt you. It was an accident. An accident? All right, accident or not, admit it. It was a little awesome. Awesome. <laughs> she threw Me. you in the air with her mind. I could have been killed. Which is exactly why we need her. She's a weapon. Do you seriously want to fight the Demogorgon with your wrist rocket? We're no use to whale if we're dead. If you two want to waste your time looking for a traitor, go ahead. She's not a fucking traitor. Don't time on her anymore. No way. I'm going to the gate. I'm gonna find Will. Good luck. You're probably gonna get yourself killed, kid. Making us very visible now. It's okay, Lemon. Don't be frightened. These are all friends. They're just here to watch. Don't focus on them. Stay in here, like before. Yes, Papa. Whatever it is, it can't hurt you. Not from here. So there's nothing to be frightened of. It's reaching out to you because it wants you, it's calling you. So don't turn away from it this time. I want you to find it. Yeah, this is reminding me a little bit of Elf and Light, a little bit. Probably. I don't know. If you ever seen it, let me know. I enjoyed that. So you lost? Is your mom here? Your dad? Mouth breather. What should we do? Uh, call the police. Excuse me, young lady. You know you have to pay for those. Hey, stop <laughs> I mean, she's gotta eat. Can I help you? Hi, we're looking for Terry Ives. Does she live here? Terry, you have some visitors. Hello. My name's Joyce Spires. This is Hopper. We drove over from Hawkins. My son, he's been missing for almost a week now, and um, we were wondering if we could talk to you about your daughter. If there's anything that you could tell us about when she was taken. What was your relationship with Dr. Brenner? You guys keep in touch? This is Will. Uh, you may have seen him on, on the news. What's wrong with it? Without Lucas. You should have shaken my hand. He's just jealous. What are you talking about? Sometimes your total obliviousness just blows my mind. He's your best friend, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's fine, I get it. I didn't get here until the fourth grade. He had the advantage of living next door, but none of that matters. What matters is that he is your best friend. And then this girl shows up and starts living in your basement, and all you ever want to do is pay attention to her. That's not true. Yes, it is, and you know it, and he knows it. But no one ever says anything until you both start punching and yelling at each other like goblins with intelligence. Yeah. Now so petty, children. My best friend. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, he is, but so are you. And so is Will. Can't have more than one best friend. Says who? Says logic. I'm one of those people. You can't have more than one best friend. Okay. 
The whole term is best. Like as in one. You don't think? Definitely. She was a part of some study in college. MK Ultra. It was, uh, started in the 50s. By the time Terry got involved, it was supposed to be ramping down, but the drugs just got crazier. Messed her up good. This was the CIA that ran this? You and Terry would have gotten along. The man with a big capital M. They'd pay you know, a couple hundred bucks to people like my sister, give them drugs, and then they'd strip her naked and put her in these isolation tanks. Isolation tanks? Yeah, they're these big bathtubs basically filled with salt water so you can float around there. You lose any sense of uh, sense, feel nothing, see nothing. They wanted to expand the boundaries of the mind. Real hippie crap. I mean, it's not like they were forcing her to do any of this stuff. The thing is, though, is that she didn't know she was pregnant at the time. Jane. Do you have any pictures? She was 11, yeah. I don't think you guys understand. Terry miscarried in the third trimester. Terry uh, pretends like Jane is real. She's gonna come home someday, says she's special. Born with abilities. Abilities. You read any Stephen King? <laughs> you guys look scared, actually. <laughs> I mean, it's all make-believe. What, what kind of abilities? Telepathy, telekinesis. <laughs> You know, shit you can do with your mind. That's why the big bad man stole Jane away. Mama! Her baby's a weapon of fighting the commies. And the doctors all say it's a coping mechanism, you know, to deal with the guilt. Do you think there's any chance she could be telling the truth? There's no birth certificate, nothing from the hospital. Doctors and nurses all confirm that she miscarried. You know, they... Yeah, that they could have been coming up. Yeah. Right. Well, like I said... You and Terry would have gotten along. Oh, man. It's interesting that all of these like parties have like their own part to play, I guess. They all have their own bits of information. Did you no, sell this shit? Four boxes of the thirty-eights. What are kids doing with all this? Monster hunting. Hmm. <laughs> Monster hunting? You know, last week I was shopping for a new top I thought Steve might like. It took me and Barb all weekend. It seemed like life or death, you know? Now you're shopping for bear traps with Jonathan Byers. Yeah. What's the weirdest part? Me or the bear trap? You. It's definitely you. Hey, Nance. Can't wait to see your movie. What the hell is that? I don't know. Nancy, wait! You. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? I was worried about you. Can you believe that I was actually worried about you? <laughs> what are you talking about? Wouldn't lie if I were you. You don't want to be known as the lying slut now, do you? Speak of the devil. You came by last night. Ding, ding, ding. Does she get a pry? Look, I don't know what you think you saw, but it wasn't like that. What, you just let him into your room to study? Or for another pervy photo session. <laughs> we were just... You just want to finish that sentence. Finish the sentence. Go to hell, Nancy. Go 
Sleep. You know what, Bryce? What? I'm actually kind of impressed. I always took you for a queer, but I guess you're just a little screw-up like your father. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that house is full of screw-ups. You know, I guess I shouldn't really be surprised. Bitch. Your mom, I mean, I'm not even Jonathan, surprised what happened to your brother. It. I'm sorry, I have to be the Steve, one to tell you about up. the fires. Their family is a Come disgrace on. to the entire... Mm. Mm. Toxic masculinity. Damn, going to Why? Get out of here! Get out of here! Jonathan, stop! Stop! You're gonna burn Jonathan! Stop! Cops. Hey, guys, Jonathan, get off of him! Stop! 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 Go, 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 go. Hey, uh, 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 come here, little guy. Get out. I got this one. Well, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Yep, I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help. Good luck. Thank you. Hey. Gonna find her. Yeah, like Terry found her daughter. We're close. Twelve years she's been looking for her. When she shows up at Benny's five nights ago, which means we got a chance. You know what I would give? Have a chance? You know what I would give? Hey, Chief, you there? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, a fight broke out here and. Cal, I don't have time for this. It's just the buyers. You haven't seen Joyce, have you? Do you think we'll be out of here soon? You, yes. Him, no. He assaulted a police officer. Well, how long are you going to keep him? You and your boyfriend have big plans, do you? <sighs> He's not my boyfriend. I think you better tell him that. What? Only love makes you that crazy, sweetheart. Well, no, not really. And that damn stupid. Not really. I mean, he was being goaded on. Sounds nice. What the hell are you guys doing here? You are. You're dead, Wheeler. Mike, come on, run. Really have a fucking knife? Shit! Stay back! Don't come any closer! Ugh. Nice throw, numb nuts. Ah! Get off me! What is wrong with you? Go! Stay back! Uh. All right, cut it. Really? I want to know how you did it. How I did what? I know you did something to you me. You look twelve. Some nerdy science shit to make me do that. You mean piss your pants? Our friend, 
has superpowers and she squeezed your tiny bladder with her mind. Shut up! I mean, that's true. I think we should save Tooth as here a trip to the dentist. Help him lose the rest of his baby teeth. Let him go! I'll let him go. But first, it's your turn. My turn for what? Wet yourself. What? Jump. Our Tooth is here gets an early trip to the dentist. No. <laughs> What is wrong with you, you freak? All right, just hold on. Mike, don't do it. I don't need my baby teeth, Mike. Mike, seriously, don't. That's really Mike. dangerous. Don't do it. Seriously, don't do it, man. Troy, how this is going to damn man? The fuck is wrong Mike, with don't. you? The dentist's office opens in five, four. Three, two, Mike! one. Eleven. That's pretty strong for eleven. He's got some balls to do that, though. Just gonna say. Ah! <laughs> she broke my arm. Go. Told you, save powers. Oh, I got chills on. That's weird. Go, yes, <laughs> I, it's weird when I get chills from a show. the monster you saved me do you understand you saved me I have eyes on them now they're heading home I wonder if he's going to put that together. Alright, yo, yeah, well that was Stranger Things Season 1 Episode 6 titled The Monster. So, Eleven opened the gate. Um, I like, I really like that moment that she like, just kept receiving a little bit. It was cool. It was good. It made me have goosebumps, which was it's fun. Um, yeah, I really like that like all of these characters have different parts of the story, but if they just all got together and was like, this is what I know and this is what I know, they would have like almost a complete story. Um, Steve was an absolute jerk. Uh, and Jonathan got a little carried away, mostly because he was goaded on, 
Um. Poor Nancy. Um. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.